and welcome to a video for SAP Business One. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the landed cost document to account for freight to update item costs, but then also how to do an invoice to the freight provider. Now, prerequisite to coming into landed costs, we're going to go into administration, setup, purchasing, and landed cost to make sure that we have our setup done here already. We're going to need a code, a name, the allocation by, and then our allocation account. This is already set up for our scenario here. Then we're going to go to our landed cost document. Now prior to this, we have an AP invoice in the system and we want to apply uh, freight to that to update some item costs uh, because in this situation we got a, a bill from the freight provider after the invoice was created. So we're going to add that specific vendor here. We're going to add our broker. Now we're going to copy from. So this scenario we're going to use an AP invoice, but you also have the ability to copy from a goods receipt PO, another landed cost document, or in this instance we're going to use AP invoices. And it's going to bring up a list of the AP invoices in the system for this particular vendor. So I'm going to use this one right here, and it's going to bring up the line items from that invoice. Now, um, what I can do is I have some options here, and I can use the allocation uh, amount here, or from my setup, I have freight here, and let's say it was $50. Now, when I go back, it's going to allocate based off of quantity and it's going to allocate based off of the items here. So it automatically did my allocation. I can adjust this um, as needed here. And I do want to show you how this updates the item cost. So what we're going to do is drill in here, look at the inventory data, and I just want to show you this number of 2816 here. Now when we're ready, we're going to add this document. So that's been added to the system now. I'm going to go back, take a look at it. And when it comes back up, you can see that it's not, you can no longer edit it here, but we're going to go back into our item. And go over to our inventory tab. Now that 2816 is 2818, uh, based on the, uh, the value, or evaluation method of moving average here. Now the next step we're going to do is we are going to do an invoice for this broker. And to do that, we are going to create an invoice here. So in our menu, we're going to bring up an AP invoice, and this will be a blank AP invoice. We're going to choose our vendor here. In this case, we want a test broker. And at the bottom here, we're going to do a copy from. Because what we want to do is we want to do a copy from our landed cost document. Here is the landed cost document that's been added to the system. It's going to bring up a wizard here. You can draw all data, uh, meaning you can pull all documents. Or if you would like, you can customize. And you can bring in the different uh, documents. If you wanted one or more than one, you had the ability to do that too. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to create this one. Bring that in here. We have a service type document to uh, our vendor of a broker here, $50, and now we can choose our posting dates, document dates, and we can add this to the system. And now we have an AP invoice that we can go ahead and pay at this point. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.